Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool refrigerator ice maker shutoff arm. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new ice maker shutoff arm. The ice maker shutoff arm is what turns the ice maker on and off to control how much ice it makes. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the freezer door open, you can reach in and lift up the ice door. All you have to do is lift it up and slide it back. To get the ice maker shutoff arm off, we're just going to reach in and we have to pull it out of the ice maker head. You can shut it off if you want, lift it all the way up, and then we have to push back towards the back of the freezer and get it to come out of the head. Once you have it out, we can release the back side. It's just held into this fitting and just have to push back on it to get it to release. Carefully, you don't break the cup. Once you have it released, you can pull it out of the freezer. Here's the old ice maker shutoff arm next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they redesigned the new one, but it'll go in and work just fine. To put the new ice maker shutoff arm in, we're just gonna push it back into the freezer. We're gonna line it up with the ice maker head right here and push it into the opening. Once you have it pushed all the way in, we can reach back and snap the other end into the fill cup. And once you have it installed on both sides, it should swing freely. And you can turn the ice maker on if you want before you shut the freezer door. Once you have the new ice maker shutoff arm installed, we can close the ice door. All you have to do is pull it out and let it drop down. And we can close the freezer door, plug it back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.